Hi, my name is Linda Sue Park, and I am the author of Cavern of Secrets, book two in the Wing and Claw series. My father and mother are both immigrants from Korea. And when they came to this country uh, as young people, there were many things that amazed them. But the thing that wowed my father the most was the public library, because he had grown up without one. And it is an amazing thing when you think about it. You go in and you get an armful of books, and, and you come out again, and you don't pay a single cent, and the librarians say, just bring them back when you're done. You know, it's, it's almost like, why does that even work? And so he was just amazed by it, and he brought us up in the library. So um, I read my way through our entire public library, a small town in Illinois, um, and the library was just a huge, regular part of my life. Every two weeks, I would go to the library. My first book was published in 1999. It's a book called Seesaw Girl. And authors get sent an advance copy, and it came in the mail, and I was so excited. And I looked at it, and it was obviously the most beautiful book that had ever been published in the history of the world. But something about it was bothering me, and I didn't know what was wrong, but I kept looking at it and looking at it, and it, didn't, it never came to me. And I just thought, no, you're just being too picky. It's perfect. It's a perfect book. So fast forward about two or three weeks, and I have my very first ever book signing. Again, so exciting. And a woman came up to the desk with a book bag, and she said, I am a librarian, and I have already purchased two copies for the library. Would you please sign copies that are already purchased? And I said, of course I will. I'll sign your napkin if you want me to. But <laughs> because I was new, you know, I had never been asked to sign anything before. So she brought out the two copies of the book and they were already covered with that clear plastic cellophane, I guess it's called mylar, that librarians put on to protect the jacket. And when I looked at that book with the mylar, I was like, oh my gosh, that's what was missing from my first ever author copy, because I had grown up completely and totally a library child. And it wasn't a real book unless it had that mylar cover. <laughs> <laughs>